Grandma? Grammy, is that you? Were you, you cooking some, some Italian food? Oh wait, no, it's just the new Subway Tuscan Chicken Melt. My name's Chris Gardner, part-time traveler, lifetime food. I travel many miles to find the best food that I possibly can. Healthy or not, it all has a spot in my heart. For the love of food, here on Forbidden Food TV. Let us get a little crazy. What's up guys? Chris here with Forbidden Food TV. And today we've got the new Subway Tuscan Chicken Melt Sandwich. Oof, I'm lifting weights. Uh, no tone. You even lift though? I'm not going to waste your time. Subway's new sandwich. Italian influenced. Let's get into it. The Tuscan Chicken Melt. We got the, the proper, the brand new garlic bread going on from Subway. Get in here. We got, I did a little red onion action. Tomato, some spinach. Yeah, I went there. Spinach are right. nicely oh, smelling divine chicken with all the beautiful herbs and spices. And it's got a little bit of the balsamic, some uh, pickle action in there too. And uh, somewhere in there, my boy Eric hooked it up. Where are they hiding? Well, there are some. Uh, Banana peppers hiding in there too. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so like I said, the Tuscan chicken melt on the new garlic bread from Subway. I got that herbal chicken going on. We got spinach, tomato, pickle, banana peppers, the balsamic, some red onion going on. Out of all the Subway sandwiches I've ever had, this has got to be the most sensual to the nose. Like, it smells like an Italian bakery in here. So here's where you're doing it right. The chicken is super delicious and herbal and definitely what you would expect when you hear something like Tuscan chicken. It's definitely got, you know, maybe some oregano, some just great, Italian spices going on in there. And that balsamic gets a little bit of bite, a little bit of, uh, you know, pep from the vinegar, you know, just the bite from the vinegar, a little bit of sweet because it is the balsamic. Great. It's getting a little crazy and it's dripping everywhere, but I'm all right with that. And all the veggies to your liking add or none in some cases. I personally love veggies, so I just, I load it up. And if you're going to pay so much for a sandwich, I figure you might as well get, you know, all for your money, you know? Because the sauce isn't super heavy, the sandwich is not getting lost. You know, the toppings aren't getting lost. It's really complementing very well. It's a good representation of Italy or, you know, Tuscany, all that. The garlic bread is amazing on this. That's super herbal as well. This is like a super fragrance experience right here uh the balsamic is nice and light it's not destroying the flavor of everything else on it you can still taste the cheese you can still taste all your toppings so i think if you get the tuscan chicken melt i would suggest getting the garlic bread on it you know wrapped around this magic magical experience in order to get the full herbal effect which i think is necessary in this situation what would i give it i think i'd honestly give it a good solid a good eight i like it it's a little something different for subway it's uh it's just a little something a little something festive so to speak i guess it's not your the the typical like it's not the typical, it's not the typical, it's not the typical, you know, meatball sub or, you know, something that's really standard, which those staples are great too. But this, this sandwich is definitely, I think it's a nice addition to the Subway menu. So the Tuscan Chicken Melt gets an eat from me. It's been Chris on Forbidden Food TV as usual. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to me here on YouTube if you have not done so already. Shame on you. But I appreciate you all very much. Love you. As always, all of those extensions forward slash Forbidden Food TV. I'll see you guys next time.